Hey, it's uh, so you you're thinking of getting a heat treatment done for bed bugs. You've called around several exterminators, and they tell you, well, we've got this new way to kill bed bugs. It's very effective. Uh, we use heat because, and you, of course, you go to Google and you search and you find out that yes, heat does kill bed bugs. But what they're going to do is they typically will come and they heat them they, they hook a machine up to your house that uh, pumps heat into the house and basically turns your house into an oven um, this, you know you can take your sheets you can take your comforters you can take your uh, you know your bed linens you can throw them in the dryer and it will kill the bed bugs that are in your linens that the heat does work for that uh, by the way I am Jason Akers. I am the owner of Green Acres Pest Control. I have been killing bed bugs for at least 10 years, if not longer than that. I've been an exterminator uh, my whole life. If you've watched my intro video explaining, you know, who I am and what I do and, and how long I've been in the business, go ahead and, and uh, I'll link that so you can go in and check that too. Uh, it is my first video, so, you know, give me a break. <laughs> but um, what I was saying is, though, that you when you dry your sheets, when you dry your comforters in the dryer, the heat will kill bed bugs. That's true. Um, but the, the, the whole idea behind using a heat treatment for bed bugs in the home is that you're basically turning your house into the same environment that you have in your dryer. So you have to heat the house up to, you know, very high temperatures. Um, it, you know, that it's, uh, it's extremely expensive. Um, it's, it's typically, I mean, from what I've heard, from what I understand people being charged, and this is from, you know, uh, going behind other exterminators and fixing their problem, um, is that they, they hook a, a heat machine to the house, they pump the house full of heat, uh, it's typically between, you know, I've heard as, as low as, you know, $150, $200 a room to as much as three, four, five hundred dollars $500 a room of the house. The entire house has to be heated. You know, it's not just one bedroom. Like, they can close the door off and heat just one bedroom. Uh, because what will happen if you try to do just one room is you will chase the bed bugs into other rooms of the house. They are going to run from the heat. They are going to try to escape from the heat. They don't like the heat. If they can get away from it, they will. You know, a dryer is contained. They don't have anywhere they can really go. So, they're stuck in there. Um, but in a house, there's, there's many places they can go. So typically what I have found that they will do when someone uses a heat treatment in a house, and like I said, they, they heat up the entire house. It's not just one little area. They, the, the bed bugs will retreat. They will go wherever they can to try to get away from the heat. They're not going to just sit there and be fried to death. What they'll do is they will go into the wall voids. They will burrow into the insulation. And, you know, depending on what the RF value of your insulation is, you know, you, you, if you've got decent insulation in the walls, they can go all the way to the exterior wall of your house and be on, you know, the side of the wall that's facing like exterior, like the, the outside part of the house on that part. Because in a wall, you have you have like the two pieces of a wall. You have your exterior wall and your interior wall. The interior wall is what's going to be hot. That's what they're going to try to get away from because they're heating up the inside of the house. The exterior wall is not going to be hot because that's next to the outside. So that's that's they can live in outdoor temperatures. So it's not going to hurt them. And the insulation is going to keep the heat from permeating through. I mean, that's the way insulation works. You know, hopefully it keeps your house cool during the summer and warm during the winter. So that they're smart in that way. So they'll they'll go into the insulation. They will also go into area like if you have a crawl space. If you know your home has an area underneath it where you know basements or crawl spaces are are underground, uh, typically are cooler than um, you know the rest of the house. So they will retreat downstairs until the heat's away, and then they come back upstairs when you go back to bed. Uh, I had a. Um, you know, it, it's it's extremely expensive. Uh, you're spending thousands of dollars. You know, I, I've had people that have told me that they've ranged in anywhere from two thousand to thirty five hundred dollars to four thousand dollars, and that's for one treatment. Of course, like I said, no guarantee on your treatment. So, if the bed bugs are not eliminated, you have to have someone return to your house and do the same thing that didn't work the first time, or you hire me. <laughs> um, 
I had a uh, a customer one time out at uh, he he had a, a pretty expensive house. He ended up I think his bill ended up being uh, with with a uh, alternative exterminator, different exterminator. He, they were using heat treatments. He's like you know. Um, I wanted to try to go more green, and I like so I'll talk about that later as far as you know the uh, carbon footprint and the impact it has on the environment. But um, you know he 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 wanted to be safe. He didn't want pesticides in his house. He didn't want you know anything like that. And of course, it sounded really good to him when the other guys said, "Well, you know, we don't need to use bug spray. You, we can just heat your house, and and we can take care of your problem. And you know it'll be gone today. You know you, you we're going to heat them up and kill them. It's going to kill them all." And, you know, like I said, that sounds really good. And if, I mean, logically, it, it does sound good. It sounds like it would work. Heat does kill bed bugs, so it must work. Um, but it, the, the guy ended up, he was out $3,200. And he ended up having to spend, you know, yeah, he had to hire me. I had to come in his house. I had to spray his house. I had to treat his house with, I used chemical residual pesticide to kill bed bugs. Um, and you know, he, he, it's funny because he said, you know, even the night that he went back into his home and they said, yeah, it's okay. You can go back in your house. We've turned off the machine and everything. They, they of course packed up all their stuff and left that night he got bit. And he said, you know, I don't understand. And I, like I said, I explained to him about how they'll retreat up into the walls. And then when you're back in the house, they're, they're coming right back in for you because you know, that's what they're attracted to. They want to bite you. They want to eat you. <laughs> um, so anyway, after I, it was funny because the, the very first week he called me back and he said, you know, and I was, I got a phone ring and I was like, oh no, it didn't take care of his problem. But he, uh, he said, no, actually, I just wanted to thank you so much. It's the first time I've been able to sleep in six months because he's been dealing with this problem for a long time. And I said, well, that's just wonderful. I'm glad. And he actually, uh, this was a couple years ago and he has yet to have a single bed bug return. You know, he, uh, it's, it's been, he, he said it's been a lifesaver. Um, it, you know, I had, it's funny because the, the cost, it's, it's so, you know, it's so drastically different that I actually have one lady that didn't believe that I was going to take care of her problem. Cause she's like, well, you know, I've called so-and-so and I've called these people, I've called those people and everybody is, is way more expensive than you. Uh, are you just trying to take advantage of me? You know, because a lot of people do feel, feel that way when they call and they find that the price is substantially lower. You know, if not a quarter cheaper. I mean, it's just, it's, it, I mean, it's a lot cheaper. It's like, okay, very much cheaper. But you know, I'm, I'm doing a. Um, it typically takes a couple months to eliminate your problem. It's not something that that disappears, like I said, overnight. It it, it does take a little while to eliminate them and. And, uh, but like I said, you call me and I'll talk to you about it. You know, I can give you advice. I can help you, uh, with your own situation, you know, and, and let you know what it's going to take to get rid of them. And like I said, it's free, free consultation. I can, you know, I can inspect your house. I can tell you, you know, what's going on. I can, you know, you may not have bed bugs. You know, I've, I've actually gone on bed bug jobs before and they were fleas, you know, because fleas bite you. And, you know, I've, I've yet to go on a job where there were mosquitoes because most people understand, you know, when it's mosquitoes, it's mosquitoes, but. You know, fleas are something that people think you can't see bed bugs. I have an article I wrote. If you go on to uh, greenacrespc.com, uh, I've got a, a you know explaining that you know you can see bed bugs. They're not microscopic. They're uh, you know they're they're about you know so so big. They're about maybe what quarter inch to you know they're, they're about that size, full grown that you can see them. Um, they're kind of like sesame seeds. You know, they're, they're not skinny, but they're fat. So they're, they're like about the size of a sesame seed, full grown. Um, so anyway, the, the, well, actually not sesame seed. I'm sorry. I've, I've made a mistake. It's, uh, uh, oh, sunflower seeds. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> but, um, anyway, like I said, it, it, earlier I was talking about, you know, he, he was explaining to me, he said, well, you know, I wanted to be green. I wanted to be safe. I didn't want... Uh, a bunch of pesticides around my children, around my pets, around me when I'm sleeping. I didn't want them around. And, you know, I explained to him, you know, as far as carbon footprint, you know, if they're, he, he actually, that month, he, he, I was explaining to him, I said, you know, they hook the machine up to your electric and they run it on your electric bill. 
was your electric bill high? And he's like, well, you know, you mentioned it that month, it was like $500. He said, I thought that was a problem with my hot water heater. I, you know, I couldn't figure out why the power was so expensive. And he said, you know, the next month it kind of corrected itself. I didn't have that high charge, but um, it was definitely the, um, the difference was the fact that they had to heat his entire house up, you know, like an oven uh, that ran his bill up. So not only did he have to pay the $3,200, he also had to pay for a, a higher electric bill and ended up being like $3,500 was the total price of, uh, you know, dealing with this, these bed bugs. Um, so, you know, and, and that, I mean, where does your electricity come from? You know, the power plant produces the electricity that burn coal or, you know, mostly here in Virginia, you know, we deal with a lot of coal power. We get some hydroelectric power, uh, but you know, we do get a little bit of, um, nuclear power, but you know, most of it does come out of West Virginia and we get a lot of coal power. So, you know, you're going to have to burn that coal to, to heat your house, to use your electricity. Um, you know, and chemicals, you know, in, in my best, in, in, in everything that I've always done, chemical, I, I will use, I don't use harmful chemicals. The car, the, everything I use is safe for your children and your pets. Um, you know, you actually, the, a few, quite a few, if not all of my pesticides that I use, uh, you can use on your dog, on your cat. You can treat them for fleas. They're labeled for flea use. Now, I don't do that because, you know, I'm, I'm mainly about, you know, exclusion and trying to eliminate pests in your home. I'm not really about bathing your cats and dogs. But, uh, you know, they are labeled to use right on your pet. If, if you're, you know, a veterinarian, you can do that. That's something that's legal. Um, they're not going to hurt you. They're not going to harm you at all. Uh, I'm in them every day um, my whole life, 27, 28 years now. And they, they will not hurt you. They're perfectly safe. And like I said, I could explain more about that when you call. And, uh, yeah, I hope to hear from you soon. And like I said, you can uh, go to greenacrespc.com, my website. You can uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube you, you YouTube channel. I, I'm going to try to put out a few of these videos every so often. Try to be informative. Try to teach people the truth about pesticides and um, and what I do. You know, like I said, I'm uh, local to Charlottesville. I'm happy to help anyone. Give me a call. Uh, like I said, you can comment. You can subscribe. You can send me an email. You know, I, I get all my emails on my cell phone now with technology the way it is. Yeah, you know, just uh, let me know what's going on. I look forward to hearing from you and. Uh, just, you know, have a great day.